across the border into the big bad world where it takes you about an hour just to cross the road just to stumble across another poor old soul from the dreary old lanes to the high street madness I fight with my brain to believe my eyes and it's harder than you think to delay this sadness that creeps up my spine and haunts me the country's president, Omar al-Bashir, has described the crisis as a creation of Western intelligence and has blamed aid agencies, saying they are profiting from the crisis. Three years of fighting has left 400,000 dead, millions homeless. When you went to Darfur, what did you see? Every single family member that we met had five, six, seven, nine family members uh, murdered, raped, cut up dropped into wells, wells poisoned, villages burned. Uh, that's not just a war, that's actually ethnic cleansing. Hello, my name is Amanda Pajo and I'm speaking at Violin High School. Hello, could you please introduce yourself? I'm Brent Butler. Hello, Brent. Um, could you please tell us what you think is happening in Darfur at the moment? Are you serious? Something very, very bad that has to deal with death, I think. Um, a war, or genocide or something like that, or I, don't know, I guess Jitsis or Tutsus or Indonesia or something like that. So, in Darfur, genocide. It's the extension of other people. In Africa, and like a lot of people are dying. And I think it's because of um, like some tribes don't like each other or something in Africa. I don't know if I'm, that's for sure. I just know what's going on in Africa and a lot of people are dying. And it's like creating a lot of problems. So, would you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Gabriel Pena. Oh, I don't know. God. Could you please tell us what you think is going on in Dark Four at the moment? Uh, don't really know. I'm not really too concerned about it. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I do about all the genocides and um, how they're just pretty much killing a heck of a lot of people. It's pretty harsh. Genocide? Let me check my dictionary out. I know what a genocide is. Genocide is masculine people. It's not good. Please introduce yourself. My name is Melanie Shapiro. Hello, Melanie. Could you please tell us what you think is going on at Darfur at the moment? Well, I know that the Janjaweed invaded and they are a Muslim group that is against all the Darfurian governments so they've overthrown the government and they're committing a genocide against all of the Darfurian citizens who aren't part of the Janjaweed and they're trying to wipe out their entire people. There's a genocide. There's a genocide <laughs> in Darfur right now. Could you please tell us what you think America or yourself can do to help the situation at hand? <laughs> I'm not sure what we can do about it. <laughs> what do you think we can do to make it better or if anything we can do to help it out? Honestly, what I think, like, I think more people should actually start going out there to help and put in a lot of work and effort with it. Because, like, they have no one for them to like, just protect them and everything. And they're pretty much just getting run over. Thank you very much, Tyra. Any additional comments? I'd like to say all you guys should uh, definitely help out. But I don't want to help out because I want you. Help out. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me so darling, darling, stand by me, oh, stand by me, oh, stand, stand by me, stand by me.
by me If the sky that we look upon Should tumble and fall Or the mountain should crumble to the sea Just as long as you stand, stand by me And darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand now Stand by me, stand by me Stand by me, stand by me.